guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new or simply not yet subscribed i'm Brittany, and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button for me before we dive in i just want to remind you guys of the mystery box giveaway the drawing will be held on halloween all you have to do to enter is like the video hit the subscribe button and comment down below what you are going to be for halloween and then you're entered you can also enter on every video that i upload this month so make sure you check out those other videos as well and with that being said let's dive in to our topic for the day in brazilian folklore there is this terrifying creature that is known as the mopin warai and it lives deep in the amazon rainforest i remember growing up i was obsessed with the amazon rainforest especially um there were pink dolphins that were said to like live like go in the amazon rainforest like in the river the amazon river and i remember there was like this legend that if you were to jump on the back of one it would take you to this magical place in all actuality you were probably being drowned which is not as magical <laughs> But I remember just desperately wanting to see one of these pink dolphins and go to these magical places. And I had a book about the Amazon rainforest and all the creatures in it. And I've always really loved animals. So it was right up my alley. Anyways, this myth is thought to have came about during the late 19th century. And it coincided with the rubber cycle of the Amazon rainforest. The legend would spread among rubber tapers who would extract rubber from trees. And one of the most reliable early sightings was made by Ramon Lisa in the late 19th century. While riding in Santa Cruz, he saw a shaggy red haired creature run across the road ahead of him. He shot the animal and was in disbelief when the bullets literally bounced off its skin. However, original origins of the creature date back even farther. And this is among the Amazonian tribes. And according to their beliefs, this creature is a transformed human who was cursed because they disrespected the forest. Other legends state that the Mapinguari, actually an Amazonian shaman that had covered the key to immortality thousands of years ago. And between both of these, this has led to the Mapinguari to become a guardian of the rainforest. And the creature will punish anyone who tries to harm it. Nearly every tribe that lives in the Amazon has their own version of this creature. And even tribes that have never come in contact with one another have similar versions and descriptions of this creature. Mapinguari, the name actually translates to the roaring animal or the fetid, fetid beast, F-E-T-I-D. -E the creature is said to be bipedal, but can also walk on all fours and is around six to eight feet tall on its hind legs. To have long curling claws with feet facing backwards. It's thick matted fur is usually dark brown or reddish in color. In some reports, the creature is described as a hairy humanoid cyclops that has a large mouth on its stomach that is large enough to feast upon anything that it encounters. The second mouth is said to have four canine type teeth. And the creature is said to be nocturnal. And it's said to emit this really loud roar that can be heard from miles away. They're said to mostly feed on plants. However, they have been known to eat flesh and will attack cattle. And how they kill them is pretty gruesome. They will literally rip off their limbs with their tongues and sharp claws. The creature is known to be extremely territorial and they will become aggressive when threatened. Which means if they feel like a human is threatening their habitat, they will attack them. Its skin is impenetrable and they're said to emit this horrible smell. Even with the Mapinguari size, when it moves through the underbrush, you can't hear it. It's silent. 
the only thing that really gives it away is either its a loud roar or its smell. And the creature's only known weakness is water. They can't move very easily through it, so they try to avoid it altogether, which could explain why they have the matted fur. A group of Connemari Indians in Rio Juro Valley said that, that they raised two Mofinguaris on bananas and milk, but then they released the creatures after two years because their stench was too much to bear. And no one really knows what happens to these creatures. Legend has it that the creature has supernatural abilities and its odor, for instance, is said to knock anyone out who comes close to it. And it's also said to have healing capabilities, which makes it virtually invulnerable. The earliest recorded sighting of a Mopinguari dates back to the 18th century when European explorers first encountered indigenous tribes of the Amazon. These tribes would tell them stories of a terrifying creature that lived deep in the rainforest and terrified anyone who encountered it. In recent years, there have been numerous notable sightings of the creature in the rainforest in different regions. These sightings will often align to deforestation or a change in the rainforest. So maybe the creature really is acting as a guardian and trying to protect it. If it's showing up in these places that the rainforest is being harmed, either naturally or unnaturally. Sightings have been reported by both locals and tourists. In 2017, there was a group of hikers in the Brazilian state of Acre that claimed to have seen a large hairy creature with a single eye and a mouth on its stomach. And these sightings have understandably peaked the interests of scientists and researchers so much so that they have actually went on expeditions to look for this creature. But each expedition will come up virtually empty-handed of any physical evidence of the creature's existence. Some will mark it up to being just pure imagination, a misidentification of a animal that is already known, or fear of some sort of animal and your mind kind of just playing tricks on you. Others believe it to be a ground sloth. And ground sloths have been extinct for thousands of years. But as we know, sometimes we think something's extinct, but it might not be. The ground sloth first appeared over 30 million years ago. And fossil records show us that they have lived in North and South America, the Caribbean, and Antarctica. They were known as Megatherium, and they lived in South Africa for nearly 5.3 million years until it went mysteriously extinct at the end of the Pleistocene era. This loss would weigh about 500 pounds and on their hind legs would stand about nine feet tall. So think of a skinnier version of a Kodiak bear or a polar bear. They're roughly around the same height. The sloths walked on all fours and had long claws that curled back under their feet and faced backwards. Scientists have found fossils of these ground sloths from 11,000 years ago, suggesting that they did cohabitat with humans. They were thought to be raised for food in a way like cattle is today. It said that they had a horrible stench and that they fed on large animals um, that were like similar to the size of cattle with ease. So there are quite a few similarities between the Mopinguari and the ground sloths. Their feet facing backwards. I mean, it could look like they're facing backwards because of the claws going and facing the other direction because they're so long when they walk. The size of the creature, the fur of the creature, the stench of the creature, yep. the capability of what the creature can eat, they are all very similar. So it is possible that you know, those creatures could have survived at least like some version of them. And maybe that's what people are seeing in the forest. Lucas Caritania, 
of the Caratania tribe in Brazil thinks this is the case. He is adamant that his son saw one in the forest. His son escaped, however, the creature left the area in ruins. And he said that it was as if a boulder had rolled through and knocked down all the trees and vines. Regardless of what the Mapanguare truly is, it has become a huge part of Brazilian identity. It symbolizes the connection between the people and the vast mystical rainforest. Its legend is used to teach lessons about respect for nature and the danger of going too far into the wilderness without understanding what that is, without understanding what dangers there could be out there without being fully prepared. Let me know if you guys have ever encountered a creature like this or any other creatures. If you have any paranormal experiences, I'd love if you shared them with me. You can go ahead and email me at brittanyburghosts at gmail.com. Make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and until tomorrow, I guess, bye.